All right, so we talked about how to properly debug strings in last week's tip. And this week it's time to have a look at how to debug lambdas properly. Let's check it out. All right, so back in our tiny project, you can see we have our list of German names and we have two functions, map and filter, which take a lambda and we map the name to uh, double the name and we filter the names, name starts with an uppercase H. Now, what I noticed with some colleagues when they try to debug this thing and want to step inside the map or the filter call, they will just put a breakpoint here, debug the whole thing, and then maybe hit F8 a couple of times. And if they want to step inside here, they'll maybe hit Shift F7 and then Lambda expression. And you can see you're now inside the Lambda expression, you'll see the name variable here, Helmut Helmut, and that's pretty much it. Which works, but there's a much easier way, and I think it has to do with IntelliJ displaying these lambda signs here. You can actually put a breakpoint right next to them, and you'll see you can set the breakpoint to the line, which will break whenever you hit map, or you can put the breakpoint inside the lambda. So just name, it should be name plus name. Let's do it if you now debug, right? IntelliJ hops directly straight into the Lambda. Name plus name, you'll see the input variable is Helmut. And that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy trick. But for whatever reason, I don't see too many colleagues using that too often. But you can do. All right, that's it already for today. That was a very short episode. But if you'd like to see me cover a specific tip or a trick, a Java trick, let me know. Send me an email to marco.marcobila.com or just reply to the comment section. Otherwise, stay tuned for next week.